Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts, and thanks for joining me for another sketch inspired one sketch two ways with Vanessa and Lisa. This is our last sketch, and it's a two page sketch. I'm so excited to bring this sketch to you guys. This has been an amazing adventure with Vanessa. I have seen some beautiful layouts from Vanessa. She is such an awesome scrapbooker, and she does amazing work with sketches her sketches her layouts never turn out anything like her sketches and they are just so beautiful and I'm so excited that she agreed to do this collaboration with me um, and that we were able to bring you guys eight total layouts um, for these four sketches so this sketch is I love this uh, layout that I did. It's so fun and bright and I love summer and I live in Florida so it, we have amazing summers down here. Um, these pictures are from my uh, boyfriend's grandparents pool. We, um, one of the things that they require I guess is a, a kind of a word that you can use um, is we have Sunday brunch um, every other Sunday at their house and it's a great time for us to spend uh, with the family and seeing everyone and um, you know it's just become something that I am so accustomed to so uh, the kids get to spend time in the pool and this day they were um, jumping in the pool while I was in there with them so we had just uh, such a good time with them and I love spending time in the pool um, so we haven't actually had a chance to do that so far this year because it's one we had kind of a crazy cold winter and then um, and then it was just rainy so this is the only uh, I should probably talk about the layout huh <laughs> this is the only six by six piece of paper that I use I cut it down to use as my journaling block and that's one of the things that I love about the uh, six by six paper pads is it has the usually the same prints and just in a smaller version so that um, you can get you can make journaling blocks out of them out of them if you need to. Um, so I use my We Are Memory Keep P Ooh, We Are Memory Keepers um, Corner Chomp I think is what that's called. It's supposed to be for like to be used um, to uh, create rounded corners in multiple um, sheets of paper or in um, card, uh, you know, thick chipboard or things like that. But I just like it because I like the handle on it and it it's easy to use and it has the two sides, the quarter of an inch and a fourth of an inch. So, um, so I'm going to do a simple back stitch on this layout. So I punched all those holes. You saw that I went around the edge of that. Um, like sunburst photo and I realized that I used like <laughs> I, it was a pain in the butt I used so much of the baker's twine but I didn't want to have to restring it so <laughs> it was a pain until I got about halfway through and then it it kind of evened out um, so once I get the photos down um, I think that I'm trying to decide what um, stripe you know what paper to use at the bottom of the sketch it shows um, two border strips down there so I use this stripe paper and then I think I find like a blue paper or like an aquily green color this paper here um, and I'm going to use this paper to punch out um, a border punch the scallop border punch um, and then lay the stripe paper over it um, to create that border at the bottom So then I think this is when I realized that I needed something else. So I pull out my white cardstock and I, I buy um, this at Hobby Lobby. It's like the cheap, flimsy white cardstock. Um, but all I use it for is to back um, my photos. Um, so I know that I don't really need a whole lot of um, thickness or anything to um, the cardstock that I use. So I backed all of my photos in white as well as my journaling block in white. And then I'm going to lay down these border strips um, and get those glued down as well. 
So you'll notice in the sketch it calls for a photo underneath the tile and I did not have enough underneath the title and I did not have enough uh, photos. I only had five photos for this um, layout. So what I'm going to end up doing is um, making that flourish a little bit bigger um, and in place of that and you're going to see that um, here in just a second. So that big um, flourish piece that's right there on the, the left hand side, that's what I'm going to end up using. So I'm adding a few of stickers at the top. I think these fishies are so stinking cute and I know that we're in a pool and so there's obviously no fish in our pool. But I just, I love everything about that paper um, and the stickers, just the colorful fish. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I love that fish and the fishies on these paper. Um, so let me tell you about these. Uh, I, I talked about what we're doing in the photos, but um, this past summer, these were from 2017. Um, so the boys were kind of just figuring out about jumping in the pool and so they were still a little hesitant it took a lot of convincing for them to get in and jump in but then after like you know three or four times they realized that it was a lot of fun to jump in the pool so um they had so much fun jumping in and they you know have their floaties they haven't fully learned how to swim yet um so they're using their floaties and then they're also both afraid to have water in their eyes which i think is crazy um because you know we're we're floridians and <laughs> sun and water is something that is like in our soul um so now i think that i am looking for just some other embellishments i of course added another fish um because you can never have too many fish on this page and just another couple of word stickers at the bottom. And I'm going to use these stickers. Um, and I don't know if I'm able, I don't know if I show the thickers um, again, but they are, they have like these glittery polka dots on them. It reminds me of kind of sand. Um, they're just really, I, I don't know, they're very different and I like them a lot. Um, so my title's going to be Splash Time. And um, I popped up the the word splash and then also my photo and I was able to get all of the letters on except for the M um, that's the only one that's not popped up so then I'm going to use uh, put them up on uh, some fun foam behind the M to make sure that it just has some stability because um, it is on that part of the splash but I um, some of it's on the splash but some of it's not so I just wanted to make sure that it didn't get squished down once it gets into my page protector. So I would love for you guys to go check out Vanessa's take on this sketch because she does a fabulous job turning this sketch into a one page layout like she's done with all the other um, sketches beforehand. And then um, I am going to upload another video with uh, my giveaway. I'm so excited to announce that. Um, so I'm going to upload that uh, probably right after this video is uploaded. I know Vanessa is offering a two, uh, a $20 gift certificate to scrapbook.com. Um, so you'll definitely want to check out her requirements in regards to, um, you know, what you need to do to enter her contest as well or give I guess a giveaway not really a contest um so I will be choosing a person I'm at random and I think she will be as well so here is my finished layout thank you guys so much for joining us in this collaboration I've had so much fun um seeing all of uh Vanessa's takes on these sketches and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you have a scrappy day.